What's going on? Shane Serrano here, coming to you from Radio Board Shop in Aspen, Colorado. And in this video, we are checking out the all new Forum Snowboards. This is a long awaited drop on this reinitiation. So let's see what these boards are all about. If you're unfamiliar with the brand Forum, they're one of the top snowboard brands in the early 2000s. Around the mid 2000s, Burton bought the brand. And then in the early 2010s, Burton unfortunately dropped the Forum program. Forum was known for always having the sickest team of the top pros while also dropping some of the most legendary snowboard movies of all time. Now with Jeremy Jones and Peter Line behind the wheel, Forum is back and it's got a lot of people very excited. To ensure that Forum stays on the right path as long as possible, Jeremy and Peter wanted to start things slow and steady with this initial year. This is why Radio Board Shop is only one of eight local snowboard shops that have the privilege of carrying the two new Forum boards for 2023. We have the Production 1, which is the park-oriented board, and we have the Production 2, which is the freeride-oriented board. On both of these boards, you're gonna get a pretty similar construction, but to break it down, let's start off with the Production 1 in the park-oriented Forum board. This is gonna be a classic twin shape, so ideal for that park rider who wants to ride forward or backwards and rip any rail, any jump, and just destroy any terrain on the mountain. On the production one, you will have traditional camber throughout the length of the board, and then towards the nose, you will have a slight zero camber transition section before the nose. With the production one, you will have a pretty mid flex, so it's great for butters if you're hopping on those rails or boxes, or even getting in the streets. And then you'll also get a radial side cut, which is what you want in a twin, so that turns the same way when you're going regular and switch. And then we've also got the production two, or the free ride oriented forearm board. This is gonna be a directional twin, so you're gonna have a slightly set back stance to be able to ride all mountain a little easier than on the production one park board. And with this all mountain shape, you'll have traditional camber throughout the length of the board and both on the nose and tail, a zero camber transition zone and then a flat kick tail. That's gonna give you a little more power when you're charging steeper lines and riding a little bit harder throughout the mountain. And then on the production two, you're gonna get a slightly stiffer board that's just one notch up on the flex rating. If you're interested in buying either of these boards, use my code SANDWICHBAG at RadioBoardShop.com to get free shipping off your order. If you like to ride everywhere and you're maybe getting in the park a little bit, I would suggest going with the production two. It's a little more of a versatile ride and you'll still be able to ride well in the park. But if you're more of a park rat or you just like jibbing and doing some more freestyle riding, I would go with the production one. They are fairly similar boards, so I wouldn't get hung up too much on either of these boards, but also keep in mind that you will have larger sizes in the production two and smaller size options in the production one. For both of these boards, you'll get a retail price of $690. And for the production one, it comes in sizes 151, 153, and 155. In the production two, you'll have the option of sizes 154, 157, and 160. Of course, both of these form boards are being constructed at the Mothership factory in Austria, and that is where Capita and Spring Break are both made. So if you know that you like the ride and feel of Capita boards, you'll absolutely love these new form boards as well. And just like that, Form Snowboards is back with the Production 1 and the Production 2. Thanks for checking these boards out with me, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace!